Not all threats are visible in this interconnected world. Beyond the soldiers and physical weapons of traditional warfare lies a hidden battlefield, the digital realm. Here nations engage in a type of conflict not with guns and bombs but with codes and computers. This is the world of nation state threat actors. So what exactly is nation state threat actor? Now imagine a group of highly skilled hackers but instead of working alone, they are employed by country's government. Their mission is to spy. Their mission is to disrupt or sabotage other countries' interests through the power of technology. These actors are like invisible spies. They can infiltrate critical systems from power grids to military networks. They steal secrets and they cause disruptions or even preparing for the war. One famous example is the Stuxnet virus. It silently infiltrated and caused significant damage to Iran's nuclear program. It was sophisticated, it was stealthy, and it had all the hallmarks of a nation-state operation. You might be wondering why you should care about these activities happening at a distance. Well, the impact can be closer to home than you think. A cyber attack on financial institutions, utilities, or healthcare can disrupt your daily life from turning off your lights to impacting your bank account. With all this, I would also like to put a spotlight on the countries around the world that are working to strengthen their defenses, they share the threat information, and also develop strategies to protect against these invisible threats. So to summarize, who are nation-state threat actors? Well, the nation-state threat actors are like government-employed attackers, hackers, or you call them adversaries, whose mission is to attack, spy, and disrupt on other countries' interests using technology. They operate in the shadows of the digital world and the target critical systems and they have actions that can have far-reaching consequences potentially affecting everything from the national security to your daily life. So on one side we have experts sitting on the government side. On the other side there are unskilled attackers as well. Let us go ahead and chat about them as well in the next section.